Hey everyone, today we'll be demonstrating how to upgrade both the SSD and memory in Creator Z16. Let's start by preparing the following tools to make the process easier and safer during the upgrade. A plastic prying tool, a paper clip, a number one Phillips screwdriver, and an anti-static wrist strap or glove. For the SSD and memory, you'll need to get the correct specifications to get the best compatibility experience. Creator Z16 provides two DDR4-3200 slots and supporting up to 64GB of memory. As for the SSD, Creator Z16 also provides two slots of NVMe PCIe Gen 4. Before you begin pulling everything apart, please make sure that your Creator Z16 is turned off and the adapter connector to the laptop is removed. Flip it on its back and insert the paper clip into the battery reset pin hole. Hold it for 4 seconds in order for the battery power to successfully cut off. Remember to take note on all of the screws and which holes it's removed from, as they slightly differ. Follow the direction of the rubber feet and use the plastic prying tool to remove it. Use the screwdriver, unscrew the back cover of the laptop consisting total of 6 screws, where 2 of the screws are located below the back rubber feet. After removing all the screws, use the plastic prying tool to slide through the lower case from left to right hinges. Open the lower case in the same direction as shown in the video. Peel the plastic protective foil and remove two screws. Then disconnect the battery from the laptop. If you want to add an extra SSD, here's how you do it. Locate the additional SSD slot. Plug in the additional SSD, then screw the holes at the end of the SSD so it's held firmly on its spot. Assemble the Creator Z16 and check the status in BIOS. If you want to upgrade the RAM or the SSD on the other side of the motherboard, you still need to continue and finish the following steps. Disconnect the Wi-Fi card antenna. Then use the screwdriver to remove the screw attaching the Wi-Fi chip to the motherboard. Lift up the upper cover of the cable interface and then disconnect the EDP cable. Disconnect the camera cable. Remove 5 screws and remove the EDP cable module. Disconnect the audio cable. Remove 1 screw near the DC in module. Disconnect the speaker cable. Remove 2 screws near the audio FPC. Remove the audio FPC first and then disconnect the audio cable. Lift up the upper cover of the cable interface and disconnect the touchpad cable. Remove two screws first and remove the SDFPC bracket and disconnect the MBFPC cable. Lift up the upper cover of the cable interface and disconnect the fingerprint cable. Unscrew the SSD screw and then remove the SSD drive. Remove the rubber above the motherboard. Disconnect the camera cable. Remove the CMOS battery. Lift up the upper cover of the cable interface and disconnect the keyboard cable. Unscrew the six screws on the motherboard and remove the motherboard from the chassis. Finally, now that the motherboard is removed, you will be able to see the two RAM slots and the two M.2 NVMe PCIe slots. Here's how you upgrade the SSD. Remove the SSD observer. Remove the screw and then remove the drive. Insert the upgrade SSD into the slot with miter angle and screw the screw. Place the absorber back. Now to upgrade the memory. Remove the memory absorber. Press the slot hooks with both hands and then remove the memory. Insert the upgrade memory into the slot in a minor angle. Place the memory observer back to its original slot. Just reverse the process on how you dismantle it to assemble it back. Make sure that all the screws and cables return to their original positions. Let's boot up the system to ensure that the upgrades were successful. Connect the laptop to AC power, press the power button, and repeatedly hit the delete key to enter BIOS. Select storage information to view information on the newly installed SSD. Hit the escape key to return to the main page. Now select system information to view information on the newly installed memory. And that's how you install the extra RAM and storage on the MSI Creator Z16. There are quite some process to go through, but hopefully you nailed it.